Poppy and I are out on an excursion and I wanted to share it with you a little bit. We're, um, we're in a really cool nature play space. She's asleep at the moment. And I've got a little nook happening here. Yeah. An awesome little alcove. And uh, when she wakes up, we can do a bit of art together. So she's got her art supplies. And some washable markers and some papers. She really enjoys this. Um, Rose organised this for her and for Christmas, and she's been loving it. And then we've got snacks. Snacks are important. And then we've got my kits, which I've been meaning to show for a while. And so these are my little sets. So this is um, a beautiful journal that Rose got for me in a, a little leather binding um, and a, a fountain pen um, that I. Not a very expensive one, which means it's ideal for travelling if you do accidentally drop it or lose it. Um, it's not the end of the world. But it writes beautifully, uh, it's very fluid. Just a, little, just a lovely little notebook. But this is the one that I've been kind of tinkering with all year, trying to figure out how to, um, how to get it set up right for me. Bear with me, one-handed like a lot of my life these days. <laughs> so it's, it's got another fountain pen. This is the original one I um, bought for myself when I was oh, about 13 or 14. I um, placed third in a fairly major poetry competition and I won some prize money for it and this was one of the things I bought with it. I bought a beautiful fountain pen and a lovely velvet skirt as those were the two things that were most um, part of my poetry writing. So it's been with me for a very long time. Uh, I lost it earlier this a uh, couple of years ago and I was quite devastated about it but I was quite thrilled to find it again. And then I have um, just a little face washer and uh, some paper towel. Uh, you always need things like that when you're out on the go. Um, so that gives me my colour. I, I personally, I usually work with ink um, because they're more vibrant and I, I like them. Um, they're a little bit less forgiving than watercolours, but they're a little bit more awkward to transport, whereas these cakes are dry, so they just make life a little bit easier when you're on the go. And um, have a pocket of bits and pieces, so um, just a little porcelain dish. If I am working with inks or I need some water in it. Um, this is a little uh, syringe with a nose on it. Um, it's blunt, um, but it's excellent for syringing up the last of a little bit of ink to put back into a fountain pen or something like that. You've probably seen these around there. They're water pens, so the handle of the pen is a bladder full of water, which means that with a little squeeze, you've got a wet a lovely wet um, pen that will reactivate your paints or work with your inks. They're just incredibly useful when you're on the go. Likewise, this is just an easy way of carrying some water around. Um, it's, it's like a little perfume sampler so you can mist it um, or you can just open it up and use it to tip a little water into your, your tray if you need to. Um, an eyedropper, pen and pencil. This one here is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it looks a little bit unusual. Um, there's a tiny hole in the tip here. But it's quite self-contained and quite strong. And what it is, is it's a travelling paintbrush. And the case becomes the handle. 
And it's quite beautiful. I really like it. It works really well. And the hole in the tip is invaluable because it means that if you, um, you close it up and it's still slightly damp, it won't um, rot your bristles or go mouldy or ick. It'll just evaporate any moisture that's left on it. Um, a little vial of ink. This is uh, Robert Oster Lake of Fire. Um, his signature ink, which is beautiful. Pencils, pens, eraser. This one here is one of my newest additions to my kit. It's very similar to the water brushes in that it, 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 the handle is also a bladder, but in this case it's full of black ink. Uh, so instead of coming out with water, uh, it comes out straight away with ink, which is just incredibly handy when you're on the road. Um, I've been painting sometimes even while I've been um, nursing Poppy, so I've had one hand bound up um, underneath the bubby and I'm still able to paint and make things, which is pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. And so then I have a um, just a basic watercolour book. This is really handy, this one, because you can flip the pages all the way back which is really useful and as you can see these ones are, are made with a combination of um, watercolours and inks uh, these are, that's not my design, that's um, a, a beautiful um, artwork I found that I'm just replicating as I'm playing with it that one is uh, and sometimes I'm working directly with inks or watercolours yeah it just gives me the freedom to be able to play and to come out to a beautiful space like this and if I want to create something just lovely ideas down and um, be able to snatch a few moments for something creative uh, when Poppy's sleeping or in between other errands or tasks so it's really invaluable to me having a travel kit uh, for three in the morning or those little moments when you want to be able to express something or create something and the studio is a little too difficult to get to or too much of a commitment at that time. So there we go, a travel kit. If you're an artist or a writer or a creative, um, they're really uh, amazing little tools to have. I hope it's given you a few ideas.